Alright, a quick sleepy sleep. Mainly just so that way then we can save! <laughs> well, it's the only way we can save in the game, isn't it? Yeah, it's the only way. But welcome back to more Graveyard Keeper. I do have enough of the meals, so we're good on that. I have plenty of pastry dough, so I could always turn it to something else too if I feel like it. But yeah, we're making we're making meals. I want to do the gold star meals because it looked really fun and interesting to try. And then I'll give it to the guy. I can't give it to him just yet. I have to wait until like this quake day. So today is the day of you know fixing everything else up or making all the, making sure all the food is ready having all the meals ready for him. And then after that, I'm gonna start focusing on both those bodies. Ooh, I need more carrots. Good thing it's Sunday as well. Yes. I have 70 carrots also waiting. Ooh. So prep and planning and preparing. That's what I'm doing. Oh yeah. Well. Yeah, let's also have ourselves a lovely sermon. I wish I could make higher quality sermons too. Yeah, do No, not yet. You'll be able to? Um, yeah, once I get like more journalist perks and stuff like that. But that requires blue points. Although I should have, uh, I should have went to the astrologer and bought another uh, blue book from him. That would have helped out. But faith points, everything else, we're good. Just slow and steady as it goes. Yeah, still making plenty of money also from this because they give like 74, 75 copper pieces every single time. Wow. Yeah, and I've got a lot of good meals. I've got other food items. So I'm not too bad of a bind. I got like 35 silver as well. And then occasionally selling on the, uh, the burial certificates and all the other stuff has been helping out. So I'm a Shouldn't you sell all your meat too? I have. I've sold all the meat. I haven't really been cutting off more meat. Yeah. No. Okay. I was wondering about that because I didn't see you doing that and asking for it, you know. Yeah. I should, but you no, know, you know, I've been okay. There you go. More ash and salt. And while we're at it too, I'll go grab the 70 carrots that I have and I'll go put it in there. Good idea. We can also check on all my pumpkins and all my onions as well. Looks like the majority of your crops are ready. Oh yeah, but I also had this high, uh, this higher quality crop over there, so... High quality because you fertilized it? Yeah, I fertilized it with a high quality yield. It was these onions and these pumpkins right here. So, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I did. I picked up the carrots that were in the chest. Oh! I, I had 70 of them waiting yeah. already. Yeah. So, yeah, I planned ahead. Good planning. Thank you. We got enough of those going in there, so we are good to go on that. Take the ash, take the salt, but put it in here. Get another one of these uh, royal fish uh, going. Last one, actually, that we need. So. With that, we shall be done. All royal fish are in here. Same thing, too, with your salt. Ash can go in here as well. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and package up a meat, because we have one. Good on that. I can go sell it. Um, in fact, before I even head over there, I can always just see about getting more meat from the bodies because I do have a couple bodies over there yeah I know you've got two waiting yeah but it depends on how close they are I don't think it, it matters that much about if it affects like the meat itself that's it? no I don't think so it just has spoilage right here which causes the body to be worse if you want to bury it in your um, oh. graveyard but since I'm just burning them it's it's okay it's not like there's good flesh and bad flesh or rotten flesh and you get less money or you cause a problem. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, some games have done that before in the past where they have a decay meter and they do it really well. Um, one game that did it was uh, called Bat and Kados. I've heard of that game. Yeah, it was, um, it was, uh, it was sort of like a quick time 
turn-based RPG game that used cards in it. It, it, it had a lot going for itself, uh, especially for what it was. It was in the GameCube era. I'm going to say it's a pretty old game. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with it, and I still enjoy it. You still have it, don't you? Yeah, i definitely love to play it. They, uh, they even have made a second game of it, but I played some of it, and then when I played it, I just didn't like it. It just didn't feel good. But I will have to try and play through it entirely and see about it. I did buy it a long time ago, and it was actually pretty expensive back then. Wasn't really. Yeah. So I definitely gotta see what it is, and maybe it gets better. There you go. All the money. And let's go ahead and get some more onion rings. Two more, to be precise. Are you selling all those onion rings to the innkeeper? No, I'm not selling the onion rings. I sold the meat and I sold the burial certificates. Why aren't you selling the onion rings? Don't buy those. Well, I'm buying them because I wanted gold star ones, so that way then I can make those gold star meals. Oh, that, that was the thing. Just, the yeah. meals are for the king, right? The meals are for that merchant because he wanted five gold, gold star ones. So, I have gold star meals for him. So that way then we can see what happens, basically, because I have no idea what happens. It might be something that I could add to the story or maybe add something interesting else. Okay. So I'm just curious, really. And now that I have all the items, I can actually start um, prepping this. So we got the gold, uh, gold onion rings. We also have... Not that. Definitely not that. We have golden or we have a gold star royal fish and last thing is a cake so 100 percent i'm going to get a gold star so there you go high quality food items that's one dream dinner i got an achievement for it okay i'll take it all right there you go you and you. There we go. Just double check to see if it's all correct. Yep. Gonna go take care of these meals. There we go. Perfect. Because I am just super curious about this because he, he wanted this. Yeah. There we go, perfect. There you go. Me eating just the humble baked apple while I'm making just these gourmet fi five-star golden meals. <laughs> Me just with my simple stuff. Well, at least I made an extra cake for myself. Yeah. There we go. And with that, we have ourselves five gold star dinners. Wow. I gotta remember to take them along with the Bronze Star ones, and we will see what happens. Not bad for Sunday. Oh, that was pretty productive. Yeah. And now we go tend to the tombstones. Yay! Finally! <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I've been bad. You have. You've been terrible. Wait, I gotta do this. Wait, I gotta do that. Everything else just, like, distracts me, I guess. I'm sorry. I can be easily distracted. I know. A fly. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it's like with you. Yeah. There you go. Time to make my assembly line of wood, or not wood, of stone. Yeah, you need a heck of a lot of stone for that grid. Whee! Good thing I have plenty of, like, food. I even have more food that I made, um, which were like the bronze ones at home, so. Great. Yeah. There we go. More logs and stuff. Why do I keep saying logs? I have no idea. It's all stone. There you go. Yeah. I know I, I know I complain about doing this because I feel that it's cheating, but... I don't think it's cheating. I think it's a good idea. It is a good idea, but it still sort of, you know, 
gaming the system. Because you shouldn't be able to move massive, like, blocks of stone or logs like this effortlessly. Well... It would have been nicer if they came up with, like, a push cart. Yeah, I still like the cart. Yeah, it, it is. It's, it's a nice one, because now I can just have all these piles of stones just push like this effortlessly yeah. closer to my destination, and then it can be easier picked up. But I still wish that they just added something, the developers added something to where you just had like a push cart. Yeah. So that way then you can go ahead and just stack them up on a giant push cart. You can then go ahead and move like maybe three or four big blocks of that stuff, and it would make sense, and you just push it, and it would work just a bit faster. Yeah. Like it would, it would go ahead and just move things around a bit quicker for yourself, and then later on, as the game progresses, who knows, maybe the donkey likes you, and he'll befriend you, and then he will then go ahead and push the cart and be faster for you. And then he could be considered a secondary, um, a secondary uh, backpack almost, so that way then you can have more space. That would be pretty helpful. of stone. I don't think I might get through a lot of tombstones, but I do got a lot of stones right here that I collected. Yeah. Although the tombstones themselves don't stack, so when I carry them, they're going to be one each. Yeah. Kind of the same thing too with this. And, and of course, like I've said, I'm not a big fan of like cheating the system like this because you carry one big piece yeah. on your shoulder pretty much. But, hey, it works, I guess. No more complaining, I guess. If the developers wanted to, or if they had time, they could have fixed it, or they could have done something like that for it. Alright, can't carry or go for any more of this stuff. It is getting dark. And here's, here's, my, big, uh, here's my big convoy of stone. So, we are good there, and... Of course, I got plenty of food items, so yeah. All right, any way that I can make space. Well, I made some pretty good space already. All right, let's go ahead and break down these stones. Break down. I can't break them down here? I thought I could break them down. Oh, here we go. Five of them. Yeah, you get some blue, or I mean, you get some red, and you get, of course, green. <laughs> I am tired of getting green. They should make stuff green. Yeah, either convert it or give it to someone else. There we go. And with that, we can now start seeing about. Here you go, we can make like these massive areas. Yeah, that works. These bigger stones. And then, of course, later on, maybe I can break them down. Who knows? Either way, though. There you go. Big gravestones. Uh, we'll do four of them. Oh, we get red and blue. Yes! I should have been doing this a long time ago. Uh -huh. I don't need, I don't need you know, uh -huh. cues from the peanut gallery over there. Yeah, you do. All right, two more. There you go. Quite a few of them. Why aren't you making any more? Uh, well, I don't have any more. Well, I do have space for one more on my inventory, but also I don't have that much stone left, and it's getting dark. Oh. Tomorrow is the day that the merchant's going to show up. I'm going to go ahead and take the time to put these tombstones on the actual graves. Oh, so you are going to put them on tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'm going to put them on, like, right now. Oh, very good. Yeah. So this grave right here, it already has a, st uh, a fence, so we'll go ahead and we'll put one of these on it. And, ta-da, it looks nicer. This one also gets it. I should also go ahead and study this grave, uh, this gravestone that I made because I could get blue points for it. 
There we go. Making things look nice in the graveyard. It's now at 140. Now it's 143. Yeah. All right. Just made enough of these gravestones just to cover this this dinky tiny area right here. Like six. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> That's all that time. So I got a lot to do. I also got to remove all those other uh, bad bodies. Yeah, you have to, don't you? Well, yeah, they have like red stars on them or red skulls. But I'm gonna end it here. We did really well. We got rid of a lot of food too. We also got all these gold star meals, so I'm gonna take care of that in the next one. But I'm gonna end it here. I will take a cake with me because I'm going to enjoy that. I get extra points when I study as well, so I'll be able to have a couple study items and I'll figure things out. I'm gonna end it here. <laughs> ah, nasty. Every single time. What? I try to cover my nose, sorry. <laughs> Why? I tried to get through that ending so quickly, but it didn't help. Sorry. <laughs> eh, well, go grab a wet wipe as well. <laughs> yeah, you need one today. Yeah, I'm gonna end it here and just say thank you so much for anyone watching. Gotta go clean things up, and then we'll get into the next one. See you later. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching Graveyard Keeper. Hopefully you liked it. And if you really like it, follow Jerry's example there and give it a thumbs up. I've also got plenty of other videos if you want to check them out as well. Feel free to do so. Have a good day and see you later.